Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome to a very exciting video because today, or more accurately, yesterday, we finally got the trailer for the next One Night at Flumpty's game, One Night at Flumpty's number three. And unfortunately, I have seen the trailer, so it's not going to be, you know, a initial reaction, but I'm still going to watch it, you know, dissect it. And I've also got a few other bonus Flumpty's news, like two extra soundtracks, that we're going to take a peek at in today's video. So if you're excited for One Night at Flumpty's three, I will be playing it on the channel, so make sure you hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss that playthrough. And since I'm sure people are gonna flood the comments talking about it, yes, Security Breach TV has been updated. I don't want to talk about it too much because this is a Flumpty's video, not Security Breach, but I thought I'd at least point it out so you guys are aware. Yes, I do know that it has updated and I might make a video. There's not really a whole lot to talk about. As you can see, the monitors are cracking and also some props on the table have fallen over. So it seems that the next episode we get in a couple days on Tuesday is going to be crazy. But like I mentioned, this video is all about Flumpty, so let's finally talk about the egg. A couple days ago, Jonochrome released the shell action, kind of like selection, but shell and egg, shell action, menu music for the One Night at Flumpty's egg collection coming to consoles hopefully later this year. The full song's about a minute long, I'll play a little bit right now. <laughs> Honestly, such a bop. Wait for it. Also, Jonah Chrome confirmed that Flumpty's is coming to PlayStation, Switch, and Xbox. And before we take a look at the trailer itself, here is the menu music used in the trailer. Very ominous, I will say that. But also, very, very good track. Also, Jonochrome confirmed that the rest of the soundtrack will be posted after the game is out. And now finally, let's take a look at the One Night at Flumpty's 3 release date trailer. Here we go. Again, I have seen this, unfortunately. But, um, it's still amazing. As Flumpty, here's the new office. New room, new mechanics. Blam. It's Grunkfus. It's time for the night to end. Welcome, one and all, to Flumpty, Event, for the Office, Clock, Golden Flumpty, Jump Scare, One Night at Flumpty's 3. There's a whole lot to dissect. As you can see, we got a lot. And also, Halloween, release date, awesome. So on Halloween, it's going to release on PC and mobile, and then, yes, Console releases to be announced. Made possible by Scott, Clitine, Phil Morg, and of course, Jodachrome. And then we got a new dork rhyme saying, eh, this one's alright, I guess. So now let's go through the trailer, and let's dissect it bit by bit. So the trailer kicks off by a look at Flumpty Bumpty himself. And then we move on to the new office. Look at this, dude. Look at all the decorations. It's all icy. Look at this. You can see a couple callbacks. I believe this is Flumpty's 2. Dog poster, I believe, was Flumpty's 1. And there's a whole bunch of other decorations. A hand coming out of the wall, a moose crossing sign for some reason. Whatever the heck this thing is, a little snow creature. That honestly just looks like a piece of lettuce. Some meat, I guess. I don't know why you would want that. A tree. I don't really know what that is, I don't know what that is. Ice cream, I guess, a shrugging animal, I don't know what's happening. And as you can see down here, you have the camera, and also camera flashes. And I think we see this a bit later on, but it looks like you right click to flash the camera. Which is, which is interesting, I don't know why we need to flash the camera. And if I remember correctly, I think there's quite a few mechanics and locations and influence from one week at Flumpty's, which was going to be the third game but got cancelled. Something very interesting though is right here. As you can see, there is a thermometer. Now why would we need that? Well, it's in the next room, which as you can see you click a button to go to, and it's a furnace. And it looks like you have to shovel in what I'm assuming to be coal, to keep the furnace, I don't know, well lit, to keep the temperature up, I don't know what happens when it gets too hot, too cold. Also, this amazing picture right here, this is not terrifying at all. Again, click here to go back, 
And here is the map layout. And as you can see, we flashed the camera about two times, I think. So a very interesting map. As you can see, this is the furnace room. This is the hallway. And it looks like there's another entrance into the office from this side. And I don't think we ever go to the right, so we don't know what is in this other room. So it looks like you've got about seven cameras, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Right now we're looking at cam one, which looks to have a giant fireplace, as well as a terrifying looking cactus, and then a terrifying grinning looking birthday boy blam. Moving on to cam six, this looks to be some sort of art gallery. You can see a whole bunch of clown pictures, as well as the main clown himself, and the symbol behind him looks like the camera icon. So I'm assuming he's gonna switch between being in front of the symbol and being in front of the face. I can't tell if the symbol is crossed out, meaning don't take a picture of him, but he's definitely going to be tied into the brand new camera flashing mechanic. And then we get a look at Flumpty in Cam 01. This is the same camera we saw Blam in earlier. I'm guessing that this is gonna be what he looks like when he's in the camera, though there is no UI anywhere, so this could just just be like for the trailer but I kind of doubt it also whenever we see Flumpty or I guess when we see him here our like our vision freezes a lot right you can see frost and ice coming in I don't know if that's a mechanic that he has like if you see Flumpty he like freezes your vision and then you have to go like shovel and coal into the furnace and that's how you like get the frost out of your face I don't know that's a thought then we get a look at cam 7 which is a vent leading into the room off to our right and also there's someone or something in the vent. I don't know if that's the owl who goes into the vent like he did in, you know, Flumpty's 2. I don't know if that's Eyesore. I believe John said there's no new characters, so I'm assuming this is the owl? I don't know. Whoever has, like, yellow eyes, probably. Then we get a look at us flashing the light, and as you can see, I'm guessing that this is on mobile because there's no right click. Or that could be something you disable. Kind of like in FNAF 4, you get all the tips and it says press X to disable. It could be something like that. But yeah, as you can see, you flash the hallway with the camera. 12, flash goes down to 11. Then we get a clock, which is chiming 6 o'clock. I'm guessing that's probably the screen we get when we beat the night. Then we get a look at cam 3, which appears to have a hot tub, also a vent, and it looks like the beaver is in the hot tub. If it is the beaver, that's weird, because isn't he supposed to be dead? Or at least he was in Flumpty's 2, I don't know. Then we get a jump scare by Golden Flumpty. Then we get a look at Cam 4 with the Red Man. Difficult to tell what this place is. That looks to be some sort of like lava portal. Maybe he can like teleport around the map with it. I don't know. Looks to be some sort of cave though. Then we get a bunch of eyes. Obviously this is the eyesore or the eye monster. Looks very similar to what they looked like in um FNAF 2. Or, <laughs> I keep saying FNAF. Flumpty's 2. Stay away. And then we do. <laughs> okay. Blam's jump scare. Absolutely terrifying. Just full-on terrifying. Like Oh my god, dude. I hate it so much. It's, it's so terrifying. And then we get Flumpty's 3. And interestingly enough, it fades from red to blue. Heat to cold. You know, hot to cold. I'm guessing? And then, again, Halloween release PC and mobile, and then consoles coming soon. Hopefully, sometime soon. Hopefully this year. That'd be nice. Oh yeah, that's gonna do it for the Flumpty's 3 trailer. I'm very much looking forward to this game. I will say I wasn't too hyped for the game because I know it's only gonna be like two nights. It's gonna be a very short game. But after seeing the trailer, I don't know, dude. Like, it looks insane. I, I can't wait to play it, honestly. So are you guys excited? Tell me your predictions for mechanics, locations, characters, all that good stuff in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. Friends are all here, got our ice cream sundaes and blow ho ho We're diving into pizzas and burgers with cheese Keep the french fries coming forever and ever